got blue. Green. Uh, yellow. Bert? Uh, I don't know. It's black, like a hole in your brain. <laughs> what gizmo did you get? Um, actually, I got silver. <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's nothing. I got gold. Never! You're so lucky. Is it beautiful? Can we see it? Wow! A boy with a gold gizmo could do anything! <laughs> Where is it? Uh, it's at home. I don't want to bring it to school, do I? It might get stolen. My lunchbox was stolen once. Rubbish! You haven't got a gold gizmo, Henry, and you know it. If you had one, you'd be showing it off. Come on, Henry, show us. Show us! Show us! Show us! Show us! And you're all going to look pretty stupid when you see it. Ha! We'll be waiting. Hmm. This is going to take something mega clever. Chess set? Marbles? Ugh. Coin collection? What are you doing? Just seeing what I want when you're gone. I'm really sorry about the gold gizmo. Why? Everybody wants a gold one. But what about the curse? What curse? It's been in all the papers. Every single person who's got a gold gizmo dies a horrible death. That's not true! It is. Didn't you see about that girl? She got a gold gizmo and she fell down the toilet and drowned. <coughs> Then there was the boy who was out with his gold gizmo and his dog. And they fell right into a pit of molten lava. And all because of the curse of the gold gizmo. Oh no! I saw it! The giant flying curse bird of tragedy! It's a sign that you are doomed. I am not doomed! Ah! 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 I'm doomed! Ah! Ah! I don't want to die! <laughs> well, if you give the gold gizmo to someone else, the curse passes to them. I suppose I could take the risk. I know you'd risk your life for me. Henry, you're the best brother in the world! <laughs> <laughs> easy peasy. It's so easy being me. I'm Harlan Henry. Henry, look. I finished my winch. What's in there, Henry? Do you swear by the sacred oath of the Purple Hand to say nothing about this to anyone? I swear. Even if you're being tortured by aliens. Fairy dust. Fairy dust? Wow! It looks just like glitter. But of course it looks like glitter. Where do you think glitter comes from? They left it behind. I saw them. The fairies? You saw real fairies? Can I see them too? Well, they only come out at night. Well, that's okay. I'll ask Mum and Dad if I can stay up. No! Tell no one. You swore by the sacred oath. Oh, okay. Maybe you could ask them to come before 7.30? What? Well, that's my bedtime. Oh, I see. You're too much of a smelly, nappy baby to stay up and see the fairies. Oh, I really do want to see the fairies. OK, let's do it. Yes! I brought a snack for the fairy. Oh, 
and a thank you letter for the fairy to give to the tooth fairy. And I've brought my binoculars so I can see close up. Oh, and my... Shh, hurry! Up you go. You'll get a good view of the fairies from up there. Oh, it's very high up. No, it isn't. Here, I'll help you. Now go higher. Higher. Uh, this is high enough. The things I have to do. Oh. <sighs> he watches. But you've just been fed. Ah! Eat radioactive fist, miscreant. <laughs> Taste the full force of my radioactive bile. Monster! Yeah! Get him, you smart! Woohoo! Oh, Dr. Foul! But I have one final surprise for you. You plotted your last butt, Dr. Fowl. Get ready for my Burp of Doom! But what's this lurking behind, Mutant Max? What dreadful horror has Dr. Fowl cooked up this time? Mutant Max primes his gauntlets of goo, unsuspecting as the evil horror creeps up behind him. Closer, and closer, and closer. Look behind you, Mutant Max! Behind you! Could this be the end of Mutant Max? Oh, that's stupid! There's no way Max wouldn't have seen that! Stop it all, you like Mutant Max! You'll never escape! That's not my stomach! Ah! What are you doing? You, you don't want to eat me! Oh, I'm your friend! Remember the comics? Out of print! Little Pete! Oh, you don't want to eat me? Oh, I'll taste horrible! I'm oh, mad I've got smelly socks! Oh, I don't want to be eaten! Oh, Mom! Mom! Henry, are you okay? Mom? Oh, you were having a bad dream. Yeah, yeah, I was. Oh, never mind. I've bought you a little present, Henry. You did? Yes. I've bought you... Ta-da! A plant of your own. No! It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. You are a wolf in sheep's clothing. A power-packed Peter bent on punishing the pack. Go, Peter, go! Sorry. I just can't do it. <laughs> Why do you carry that 
smelly thing around with you all the time. You leave Bunny alone. Eureka! That's it! You're just a wet, nappy, crybaby, poopy pants. Give Bunny back. Nappy boy! Give Bunny back! Or I'll pull your head off and make football with it! You annoying Neanderthal piece of con life! Oops. Respect! Ooh, I hope it's broccoli today. Me too! Now, Peter, today I want you to carry my bag, do my own work, write me a sick note, and wear this ridiculous hat. That all right with you? Um, thought so. You really are a good friend, you know, Peter. Thank you. Thank you, what? Thank you, sir. Well, if it isn't Bossy Bill. So you don't mind me using your brother as a chair now? Be my guest. What's the point in sticking up for someone who carries this around with him? <laughs> hey, look at this, everyone. It's a cuddly, wuddly bunny. <laughs> What's that? Oh, you want to play with Peety Weety? What's up? Um, Peter's head has gone all bad. Huh? Give me my money back! Not the air! Down! <laughs> oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah! Oh! Now then, let's be... Peter! What are you doing with that spoon? It's so easy being me. I'm Welcome. My name is Mrs. Crunch. C R U N C H Crunch. And I have the pleasure of being your tour guide extraordinaire while you grace our premises. I want to see the dinosaurs. Me too. That's impossible, I'm afraid. Our new dinosaur exhibit is presently closed to the public. My dad says you've got a mummy. Well, dear, most of us do have mum. Oh, <laughs> of course, how silly of me. <laughs> you mean the, uh, the the mummy from the ancient Egypt exhibit? Ooh, a mummy! Ooh. Unfortunately, the ancient Egypt gallery had to make way for the dinosaur exhibit, so it too is closed to the public. Well, let's come back when they're open. Young man, this is a place of learning. For those who find civilised behaviour impossible, we have a naughty children's room. You would be wise to avoid it. Follow me, class. Gather round, class. As you can see, our permanent exhibit tells the story of this very spot throughout history. The flora on display here once covered this entire Looks like area. stuff in our garden. Shush. Let us start with the soil, the very earth beneath our feet, unchanged since the dawn of humanity. Oh. See it. Touch it. Every soil is alive with the mysteries of history. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> 
Very funny, young man. But also accurate. The soil is very much alive. Behold the wormery. <laughs> Eat them like they do on telly. Oh, yuck! What do worms taste like? I don't know. Watch your feet! Do, do, do not tread on the worms! Everyone, help! I want all the worms picked up immediately! I might catch something. Oh, for goodness sake. They're only worms. <laughs> Miss, can I go to the loo? Yes, yes, fine. But don't dawdle, Henry. Someone is responsible for this. I am very disappointed. Very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy being me. I'm And at the end of this lesson, I will be collecting your posters. The winning poster will be announced at the fancy dress party tomorrow night. Oh, oh, uh, uh, what's the prize, miss? No prizes. No prizes? Some things we do for honour, Henry. The honour of attending our school. Ha! This school's more like a prison. Right, class. Please roll up your posters. Margaret and Susan will collect them. They're all finished. <laughs> That's rude. Is it? Oh, thank you, Henry. Miss Battleaxe is going to love this. Give me that back. Oh, as if. Yeah, as if. Thank you both. Please go with Miss Lovely to Miss Oddboard's office. Yes, Miss! Phew, that was close. Miss Battleaxe would have gone mad. Yeah, now Miss Oddbot can go mad instead. Uh-oh, you're right. What are you going as, Al? Oh, a ballerina? Well... Miss Oddbot will do. Who knows? We don't even know where the posters are. We've got a bit of time to find out. Time to find out what? Where the posters are. Ralph! Oh, sorry. <laughs> You'll be sorry, Henry. Yes, yeah, sorry, Henry. Go away, Margaret. We don't need you. Um, I think you do. What makes you think that? Because I know where the posters are and I have a plan. She might, you know. OK, Margaret. What's the deal? Yeah, the deal. Oh, be quiet, Susan. This is woman's work. Now, listen. The posters will be taken out of the safe tomorrow night at the fancy dress party so that they can choose a winner. That's when we'll strike. And we're going to need some help. Does this party last? Cool go, Henry! <gasps> oh! You're late! Peter had to change costume five times. Everyone's in position. Such a nice turnout, don't you think? Bert's on alert. And Ralph is ready.
take care of that first. Oh, yuck! Oh. But at least now I can watch Gross Class Zero. Gross Class Zero, the Virgin Focus Extended Edition. Longer, snottier, grosser than ever before. Dad! <laughs> Hello, Henry. Oh, hi, Dad. Mum and Polly are in the kitchen. I know, but I'm so exhausted from shopping. I think I'll just grab 40 wigs before dinner. But... This is so unfair! I'm never going to see the DVD. Unless... What would the Gross Class Zero kids do? Of course! This is just like when they needed to get the Toe Jam teleporter out of the secret lab. I just need to sneak the DVD and TV into my room. Oh, it was lovely to see you. Don't look up. Please don't look up. Bye. <laughs> see you soon. How can so much sick come out of such a tiny baby? Henry, what are you doing with the TV and the DVD player? What's going on? Henry was taking the TV and DVD player upstairs. What? You might have broken them. Honestly, Henry. He wanted the TV to himself, even though it was my turn. And he told me there was a Happy Hippo Parade outside, and I waited and waited in my Happy Hippo costume, but there wasn't one. How could you be so horrid, Henry? Just for that, Peter gets an extra turn on the TV. What? Well, that's so unfair! It's always his turn! Well, you should have thought of that before. Just put the TV back where you found it and hurry up because it's nearly dinner time. There has to be a way! Come on, everyone, into the clubhouse! <gasps> Eureka! That's it! <laughs> Margaret. What? You have a DVD player in your clubhouse, right? So, what's it to you? Well, I was wondering if I... Well, if you wouldn't mind if I could watch my DVD on it. Depends. What have you got? It's, um, a spy film. I don't like spy films. Apart from Gross Class Zero, of course. No, wait! It is Gross Class Zero! Look! Hmm. All right, then. 